Hi everyone, welcome to episode 8 of Personalized Learning Nuggets of Knowledge and today we are going to be talking about Nearpod Whiteboard. My name is Heather Hurley and I'm the Supervisor of Personalized Learning for Arlington Public Schools. So this is a new feature of, of Nearpod. So when facilitating a live Nearpod lesson with students or teachers, you can now launch a whiteboard at any time in the lesson and the students will be able to see what you are writing in real time. So this feature is great uh, if you want to model, if you want to respond to or address a misconception uh, with students. And this only does this only works in the live lesson. And what it's great for is it layers a very simple whiteboard on top of an existing lesson. So let's take a look and see how you use it. This is just a lesson that I downloaded from the Nearpod library. The lesson itself is not necessarily that important. Um, a student would join using the student join code like they normally do. And so say this was the lesson that I was doing with you and I'm going to start going through this lesson um, and start talking about about us learning about similes. And I'm going to tell you our learning objectives and then I'm about to start and we're going to warm up. But I realize, oh my goodness, I forgot to put in the distance learning expectations. So I'm going to quickly do that. And the way that I can do that is just by opening up the whiteboard. So the whiteboard is located in the upper right hand corner. You just click open whiteboard and it launches right there on the screen. Now you see the frame because we are in the teacher view. The students just see a blank white space. You have a pen that you can use and you can change the size and the color. You have a highlighter. So if you want to highlight particular words, you have the text, you can text, uh, you can uh, type in text, change the size and color, and then you have an eraser. Again, very simple whiteboard. So I'm just going to do text and say, distance learning expectations and it acts like any other white um, any other text box I can stretch it out I can move it change the colors right there what I like about this is that it, you can change the size directly while the, as long as the box is highlighted and then there it is if I then wanted if I wanted to draw I could draw change my pen size and draw we have you know that wasn't a very good draw let's undo that there we go let's try it again there we go and three so then I could tell them what the expectations are and maybe there's one that I really want to highlight and make sure that they understand it's really important. So I'm going to take that highlighter and say, this is the one that I really want us to all pay attention to. So here's the whiteboard. It is super simple. If I wanted to erase, take my, and I can just erase what I just did. Now here's the thing, when I close this, and then I can continue on with my lesson. And I'm just going to say, I want this to on all devices, gonna keep going. Now let's practice. But before I practice, I want us to remind, I want to remember our expectations one more time. When you click open that whiteboard, whatever you had previously put on stays here. So if you wanted something new, you would have to trash the existing whiteboard to put up new content. So. I'm going to erase everything on here and then I would have a clean, fresh, uh, new whiteboard. The thing to remember is if you then suddenly make a copy and make this into a student paste, the whiteboard does not show up. But as long as it is live paste, the whiteboard stays there. I think what's great about this is that if you have forgotten something or you need to, as I said, address a misconception, you can do it right there without having to stop, uh, stop the Nearpod lesson and, and address it. And another reason why I really like Nearpod live led lessons is because if you are in a concurrent model, you can have students at home that are virtual as well as the students that are in your classroom working on the same lesson collaborating together. So I think this whiteboard just adds an, an, a nice element uh, to your existing Nearpod lessons. So I hope that you find that this useful. And if you have any questions, please leave them down there in the comments. And I will see you uh, next time for episode nine.